Hello and welcome to this first episode of my Todoist tutorial series. In this first episode I want to take you through how to set up a basic project and how to start putting a few tasks into those projects. In following series I will show you how to use labels, how to use filters and how to use sub-projects. But for today, all I want to do is just take you through the simple process of setting up a project. So, let's get started. Right, let's get started with just a quick rundown of what we have on the basic interface. Right at the very top over here on the left hand side we have the inbox. Now the inbox is where we collect all our ideas, commitments, anything that comes to mind during the day we can just throw into the inbox and it's quite simple. We click on inbox, add a task and let's say take dog for a walk and that's it. Nothing more, just as simple as that. Now. The next view is the Today view, and that will give you a list of all the tasks that you have assigned for today. And then further down we have Next 7 Days, which gives you a, a list of all the tasks that you've assigned for the next 7 days. And this is really useful for when you're planning ahead and you want to see which days are going to be busy and which days are not so busy. And further down we have projects, labels and filters. Now labels and filters I'm going to cover in another episode. For today I just want to focus on projects. Now to create a project in Todoist it's really, really simple. All you have to do is click Add Project. Now for the purposes of my demonstration today I'm just going to create two projects. The first one I'm going to call Work and I'm going to assign that a colour. Now to assign on a colour all you have to do is click on this grey circle here and you get an options of colours and you can click, click on red for work and I'm going to create another project called home and I'm going to give that a colour, yes a nice colour. Right, so now I have two projects. Now to populate these projects with tasks you have many options first one is to click on the actual project and just click on Add Task, which is great. So let's say call Bill about the inflatable purple frogs. And click Add Task. Now, the other way, and this is probably the most common way that you're going to add tasks to your project list is straight from your inbox. So let's just go back to the inbox. So we've got take dog for a walk. Let's just add another task. Um, uh, take garbage out and add that task and let's add a, another one. Say um, clean up old email and archive. Okay, so now we have three projects in there. Now for me, when I'm processing my inbox, I find it's much, the easiest thing to do is to just grab hold. When you move your cursor over the, the task, if you go to the left-hand side, you can get hold of it and you can move it. Now take dog for a walk is a home task, so let's move that over there. Take garbage out is a home task and clean up old meal old email and archive is a work task. Now for me that is the fastest way to process. Now the other thing that we can do with tasks and I highly recommend this is that you set your set your the day or time that you want to do this and over here on the right hand side of the task you've got schedule. Now you can just click on a date which is fine or uh, one of the really cool features of Todoist is its natural language parsing. So let's say, for example, what this really means is that you can just type in something like in two days and it will come up a Tuesday. Now, you could actually say in two days at 1 p.m. and it will give me a time. 
The other thing that you can do with each task is you can assign a priority. So a priority 1, a priority 2, a priority 3. The, the default priority is priority 4. So let's say call Bill about the inflatable purple frogs is a very urgent task, so we climb that a red flag. And what you'll notice is that the circle on the left-hand side turns red. Clean up old email and archive. Let's schedule that also for Tuesday. So you can just type in Tuesday. And let's assign that a flag yellow. Now, let's go down to our home project, take dog for a walk. And there's a reason why I'm choosing Tuesday as the day. So let's say Tuesday. And we will assign that a flag yellow. And take garbage out will be Tuesday at 10 p.m. Right, so that's not such a big deal, so we'll leave that without a task. Now let's go into our next seven days. We've created four tasks, and they're all for Tuesday. What you will notice is the tasks that you've assigned a time go to the top. So irrespective of the flag that you've given it, the task that you've assigned a time, so for example, call Bill about the inflatable frogs, which is a work project, you have assigned it a red flag, and that's obviously at the top. Take the garbage out, you've assigned a, a, ti a, a time of 10 o'clock. Now, if I go into this task and remove the 10 o'clock, look what happens. Oh, it drops down to the bottom because it has no time. So what you, if you assign it a, an actual time, they naturally go to the top. The rest of the time, it will follow your priority order. So in this case, we've got red. Priority 1 task will go to the top. Priority 2 task is next. And then finally, so they follow them down in the order of priority, which is really, really good if you're not assigning times. And I generally don't assign times at all. So there you have it. That's basically how you create a project and start putting tasks in. Next time, we will look at labels and we'll, uh, so that you can start assigning, well, in GTD speak, you can start assigning contexts. But for now, what I would say is for the next few days, start playing around with Todoist, start creating a few projects, and we can then move on to the next stage, which will be labels and a few other things in our next episode. I hope you find that useful, and until then... Have a good time and see you later.